Hello viewers, in this video we want to learn how to calculate man hours in Excel. Alright, so let's say you are working or you are working in the HR department or you are responsible for calculating man hours at your workplace. So you have the time in when the workers clock in and time out when they clock out. And then the time format is the 24 hour format that we have over here. So you can see someone clocked in at 6 o'clock in the morning. Someone clocked in at 6.30 and then we have people clocking in at 6.30 at p.m. and then also at uh, 11 p.m. Right? So that's... And then the time out, you can see when these individual people are clocking out. Now, to calculate the man hours, normally this is very simple. All we have to do is to type equal to, then we open bracket, then the time out, we select that, and then we subtract or we press minus and then we come to time in then we close the bracket and then we press enter so that will give us the man hours right so let's copy the format or the formula all the way down to see all the hours so if we do that we realize that we get the hours for these guys but then for the people who came for night and closed the following day uh, we are not able to get the amount hours because the error given to us here is dates and times that are negative or too large are shown as hashtag. So it means that the dates are in negative or the time that we are having is in negative. But we don't want the dates to be negative. We want all of them to be in positive. So to correct that problem, what we have to do is I will delete everything I have over here. So to correct that problem, what we have to do is to come back to this formula and instead of just typing this, we introduce the mode formula or the mode operation. So we type MOD mode. What the mode does, it, it returns the number to positive. So the answer you get, it will not go to negative, but it will be positive. So we have mode and then the operations that we have is mode, the number that we want and then the divisor. So we, we say equals mode, then F6 minus E8, that's what we want. So that's for the number. And then the divisor, we put comma one. We are just dividing by one. And then we press enter. So we realize that it still gave us nine hours over here at the top. But this time around, when we drag that to the bottom, we are getting the man hours for these two guys as well. And that is because we've introduced the mode formula. And it therefore uh, makes all the negative value we have positive which means that this person has done 10 hours, this person 8 hours, this person 8 hours, 46 uh, minutes, and so on and so forth. So if you are to pay the people for that particular day of work and it's based on the total man hours for that particular day, uh, this is very simple. For the total man hours over here, you just type equals sum, then into bracket, then you add all the man hours you have over here close bracket and press enter so it means uh, all the people the total working hours is 85 and so if per hour is one dollar so it means you'll be it you'll be paying 85 dollars 52 cents and then the people can distribute it all along but that is not why we are here the reason why we are here is for the man hours so the formula is to calculate the man hours so that you don't have any negative the formula is equals mode then into bracket the number that you want which in this case is this guy minus the time in which is this guy then we bring comma and we divide it by one or that's the divisor and we close bracket and then we press enter and that will give us the man hours and then once we copy that down it will give us the man hours for the remaining values that we have so Thank you so much for watching. That is how we calculate man hours in Excel without getting negative values. So thank you once again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.